Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World magazine. Today I'm aboard the Stingray 225 LR. I'm here with Bruce Hawkins. How are you doing, Bruce? Hi, Alan. Bruce Glad is the uh, vice president of marketing and sales. Correct. Right? And uh, we're staying on board a really exciting new boat for you guys. Now, I know you have a new hull this year, don't you? We do. It's a next generation ZP hull. Stingray's had the Z plane hull for many years. It's a patented hull, and this year, or actually in the last year, we've gone to the next generation. And basically, it's making a three contact uh, points with the water, and you can get it. It's a more stable ride, it's a faster ride, um, and it's been a real good, a real popular next generation of. Hull well, design. Hard to believe you could improve on the one you had because uh, one thing about Stingrays is they're fast and they handle beautifully. Yeah, you can attribute that to the owner, Al Fink. Al <laughs> he's, a, he's a performance guy. He is. Performance nut. I've so seen him think. in his uh, dragster. Uh, he, he knows yes. all about speed. Yes, he does. Yes. But uh, you've done some really interesting things here in the cockpit. Let's take a look. Okay, thanks. And when you walk back from the bow, Alan, when you come back, we've gone to the bucket seats. It's a, it's a Stingray design. We actually designed the buckets, and they're a flip-up bolster seat, which makes it really nice. Uh, we've gone to the vent windows. Uh, we kept those. We've had them in the line for a while, and we kept the vents. So. Just been in bigger boats, mainly. Just in the bigger boats, primarily. Mm -hmm. It's a great feature. Yeah. Got a new dash. Uh, we've got a four-in-one gauge in the center, which is a really nice feature. We've already gotten great compliments back. Although there's only a few of the boats on the market, there's a few of the dealers that have received them so far, but it incorporates fuel, uh, volts, oil, temp, all in one gauge. And then, uh, of course, there's some other optional gauges you can add, but it's a complete complement of gauges. You've really upgraded the standard stereo too, haven't you? We have. We went to a MB Quart uh, stereo, and we used to use a Kenwood, but we've upgraded to the MB. Uh, we also upgraded the speakers. We went to a 100-watt speakers instead of a 50. The 50 were uh, distorting on us a little at, at higher volume. If you wanted to crank up the stereo, it was a little bit of... of as of, boaters like to do. As they like to do. Yes, they do. We just ask you to please, no country and hard rock at the same time. It gets confusing. You forget there. you're in Hartsville, South Carolina. That's right. Yeah, it's we know it's home cool. of NASCAR country. That's so. true. <laughs> no, I love uh, back here what you've done with uh, being able to get on the boat. Yeah, they've come. Uh, it's a feature that we incorporated a couple of years ago, in the last two years really, with new models, and it's a walk through or step through, depending on how you want to call it. It's got a companion walkway that's starboard. It's a non-skid, so when you step on the boat, it's secure. We also have the feature where you step down onto the glass bench, and then there's cushions that fill that, so you can. You're, once you're underway and you want to, if they want to sunbathe or lay out on the sun deck, you just put the cushions right back in place. Nice. It's been a very nice feature. Well, I'll tell you, I always love your upholstery. Mm -hmm. You do a really classy job. It's mm -hmm. it's really uh, nice looking. A little flash to it, but not not too much. Well, we're proud of the upholstery. We went to a 36 ounce vinyl uh, in the last couple of years. It seems like everything's happened in the last few years, as I mentioned, but it also has prefix. It's a protectant. And uh, if you get a mark or a stain or something, it uh, can be removed with denatured alcohol. So it's a very easy way. In most cases, it'll take away that stain and protect the cushions. Right. Yeah. Now, saving the best for last mm -hmm. it really adds to this look. Here is a new integrated swim platform. Mm -hmm. That's uh, something else that we've been designing over the past couple of years. And the movement has been the integrated sw swim platforms, as you know. Most of them came as add-ons in the beginning, and they were just uh, an add-on, almost like a duck bill, if you will. They do look like an afterthought, too. <laughs> yes, yes, and uh, we made the conscious decision that we wanted to integrate the platforms in all new models that we come, came out with. So and this is an example of that. It's oversized. Again, it acts as a step. We've got a three-step boarding ladder, stainless steel. And all the boats, which is a nice feature, we've got the trim and, or the tilt switch for the lower unit, that's for the standard. drive that's on standard. all boats, standard. Wow. Um, and that's made it real convenient when you're, especially if you're on the ramp and need to raise or lower the drive, you're not climbing in and out of the boat to do that. Sure. Well, thanks uh, for showing You bet, Alan. Appreciate thanks it. for joining us today. We right. appreciate it. Well, we just finished testing the Stingray 225 LR. It's powered by the Volvo Penta 5.7 GI, which puts out 300 horsepower. Think about Stingrays. They've always run really fast, really good handling, but this year they've got an all new hull. It's called the third generation Z-Plane, and they somehow managed to improve it. What they did is they have three points of contact instead of just the one in the middle like, they, like a lot of hulls do. But we still get awesome performance out of this. Time to plane was 2.6 seconds, 
very fast. Just a real minor amount of bow rise came right down. Zero to 30 was very fast at 4.8 seconds, and we had a blistering top speed of 61 miles an hour. Now, the thing about the Z plane hull is it really allows you to power it with a less, less horsepower engine and still get great performance. The happy speed on most boats like this is about 30 to 35 miles an hour. This boat, uh, the, the happiest speed where everything kind of quiets down was about 45 miles an hour, which is really booking it at only 3,700 RPM. Really nice. Uh, you get loads of standard features like a bimini top thrown in. Great little package. For more information on the Stingray 225 LR and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.